we're joining now by Joseph Vertefe of Mohawk Ambulance to share his tips on how to deal with those dropping temperatures. Last year, I think we got away scot free. This I believe year, so. it doesn't Absolutely. look like we're getting away with it. Not this time. So, what are some of your tips when the temperature drops like this? There are obviously things that you need to do to make sure, sure. everything's okay in your household. First and foremost, you need to make sure you bundle up if you're going to walk outside. Um, outside of that, which we already know, uh, power outages are a big deal. Uh, it's the number one thing that we want to look for, especially with children and adults, or excuse me, children and the elderly. Uh, the elderly can't really thermoregulate as well, and obviously smaller children with smaller mass, they can't thermoregulate thermo as well either. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, absolutely. children, they tend to go outside without coats on when it's freezing outside. Absolutely. They don't That's understand their good. limitations. Yeah. They don't understand limitations. Okay. So they need us to watch them. Okay. So, yeah, because my kid does that all the time. Sure. She did no coat, but it's like 20 degrees. I outside. did the same thing, too. So they can't do it as well as like a 30 year old adult. They're not going to be outside as long as we can handle the same temperatures now. So okay. we have to make sure that they're bundled up. All right, and you also talked about you know fuel burning equipment. They should be, I mean, things like that should be known by these by folks, right? But but sure. it's good to remind them again. Generators, wood pellet stoves, anything that creates exhaust, make sure that you have an exhaust to the outside. All right, wood pellet stoves, wood burning stoves inside need to be cleaned. Creates those need to be moved out, and they have to be ventilated to the outside. Um, a big mistake that I've noticed just growing up: a lot of people run generators inside garages and closed doors. Uh, you're just going to lead to a lot of carbon monoxide buildup, and you're going to become altered in that way. It's not healthy. If it's not vented properly inside your house, those wood burning stoves, what can happen to you? Uh, carbon monoxide can build up inside. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, heat can build up. You're looking at smoke inhalation, carbon monoxide inhalation, and you don't even know you're taking in carbon monoxide. It's odorless, it's tasteless. And the body uptakes it actually faster than oxygen does. So you can find yourself in a very bad way very quickly. All right. So, and also, if you're a four legged friends, uh, it goes without saying. When it's like Absolutely. 10 degrees outside, they can't be out there. Now, uh, my wife and I just adopted a puppy. He's about five months old. And he, we have booties for him, we have a jacket for him. Uh, rules apply. If your fingertips are getting cold, if your nose is feeling cold, they're feeling the same effects. You got to get them back inside. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you mentioned that just uh, moments ago, but it is very important to check on your neighbor, right? If Absolutely. they're elderly. Sure. Um, you know, t it, it's, it's, Sometimes they, they, they tend to kind of neglect that, right? People tend to sort of think Whether it's that neglect or they just simply forget about mm -hmm. it, absolutely. Uh, I have an elderly neighbor that lives next to me. I always make sure that he's okay, especially when the temperatures are dipping down to single digits or below zero. Uh, I'm making sure that he's around. I want to make sure his power is good. Uh, power outages are another huge thing. So if we have power go out, you're, you're going to be blocked from the wind inside your home. But the heat is going to be sucked out very quickly. Right. When the kids go outside, I mean, I always uh, want to gauge how, mu how much time they need to spend outside before I bring them inside. Mm -hmm. what do you, what's your thought on that? Uh, as far as time goes, it really depends on how prepared you are to go outside. Um, I've heard people put Vaseline on the nose and on the ears just to keep the wind chill from uh, biting the heat away. Mm -hmm. Typically, if the nose and the ears and the fingertips start to feel it on an adult, child is going to feel it even more. Uh, but once again, the way they think, they're Superman. They're invincible. So they're going to run around, they're going to play until they drop, but we have to avoid that for them. All right. Anything else we should know about the winter weather? We should, we're going to brace ourselves this year, I'm sure. <laughs> well, get your salt. Yeah. Get your salt, salt your sidewalks, get your shovels out, and take care of your neighbors and yourself. Absolutely. Because right. a quick fall on your driveway can send you to the hospital with some serious broken bones. It's going to ruin your week. <laughs> it certainly will. <laughs> Joseph Vertefe, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it from Mohawk Ambulance. Good tips. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.